Hello friends, today's blog is actually an appeal to all the engineers, professionals to request you to kindly go through the attach, I am attaching a approved plan, contour plans to the descriptions of this video. Request you to kindly go through these contour plans and give your expert opinion. What do you feel? that whether this contours should have been approved by the authorities or not and any other thing which any other thought which comes to your mind also request my friends who are watching this video kindly forward this to your family friends and all who are from engineering background even if they are studying engineering no problem let them go to their colleges and seek opinion about these contour plans. I am attaching, I have uploaded these contour plans on my drive, Google Drive, and you can download it from here. Let's understand the background of the matter. You must have seen this breaking from one of the media houses yesterday, saying that big blow to activists. The High Court has dismissed both public interest litigations PILs filed against the Bhutani project at Sakwal. To understand what exactly was this PIL, I'll make a separate blog, but ju I'll just give you a gist about it, mainly the petitioners who all had went to the High Court. So the first PIL with number PIL writ petition 1884 of 2024, this is the filing number, the petitioners were Peter D. Souza and four others versus Mrs. Paramesh Constructions Company Limited and six others. Six others are the government department. Paramesh Construction Company is the company on whose name the permissions were been taken. And Bhutani is the marketing name of that project. There is one more PIL which was filed against the same project and this PIL number was PIL Read Petition 2020 of 2025, again filing number. This was filed by Goa Bachao Abhiyan represented uh, by its convener Dr. Sabina Martins versus the state of Goa and five others. There was one more intervention application which I had filed. Uh, this application MCA miscellaneous civil application 2023 of 2025 this was again filing number in the PIL read petition number 1884 of 2024. In this intervention application I was in person before the High Court. Now, I had been to the in intervention to the High Court largely because there was a huge concern about the slope, the non-development slope on which this project is proposed. Now, let's come to the actual part of the video that is the main discussion about how this project got approved on a slope which according to us should be a non-development slope. Now what the law says, let us understand that first. This is the revised additional guidelines for granting permission under of section 17A of the Goa Town and Country Planning Act 1994. Now what does it say? Guidelines for cutting of sloping lands. No development shall be permitted on land having slope of more than 25%, that is 1 is to 4 gradient. No permission for cutting of land under section 17A of the, of the Goa Town and Country Planning Act shall be necessary for land having slope of less than 1 is to 10, less than 10% slope. So this is what the law says. Now with keeping this in the background or the basis on which whether development permission is to be approved or rejected, this becomes the basis, this is the law. Now let us look at the contour plans which were being submitted by the project proponent. Now this is at the scale of 1 is to 500. Now this same contour plans I have also attached in the description link. So request all the professionals to kindly go through this and give your opinion, your expert opinion about whether these contour plans are eligible based on this contour plans whether this site is eligible for development or not and what are the other discrepancies with respect to this approved contour plan if you, if you can see over here this is the approved stamp 
these are the approved contour plans approved by the TCP department, town and country planning department, who is supposed to be planning this planning for the state. Now this is the contour plan for analyzing, sitting in the office, analyzing what is the topography of that area. And this is the drainage uh, system, site plan with drainage system. This also has the project details from top view and also the drainage plan superimposed on the contour plan. Now these two plans I have attached to this video, requesting you all to kindly go through this. Please, please give your opinion because as you can see in that breaking, the matter has been dismissed by the court, both the PILs, including my intervention application. Now the matter is no more subjudice, otherwise I would have made this video long back since I was before the court, I am not supposed to take, speak about that matter in the media. So that is what how things work when the matters are subjudiced. So now since the uh, order has been pronounced yesterday being dismissed, I am putting this matter open for general public, especially the professionals, the engineers who understand topography, contour plans and all. And as I have shown to you, the law says anything below 1 is to 4, 25% slope is a non-development slope. Nothing can be permitted or allowed to be developed there. Now on this background, on this basis, whether these contour plans, looking at the contour plans, whether development permission should have been given to this project or not. That is what the question is. And I am requesting all the professional, once again I am requesting all the professional to kindly please Take some time from your busy schedule, remove some time from your busy schedule and please go through this so that we can also understand what the, on the, we, have, we are yet to get the final order. The order is not yet uploaded on the court's website. So let us understand everyone whether this particular site looking at the contour plan is eligible for development or not. It's a simple request, my friends. Request all the people who are viewing this video, who will, be look, who will be going through this video. If you are not professional, kindly send it to your family, friends, or whoever you might be knowing, who are engineers by profession and who understand contours, contour plans, how to read it and how to analyze contour plans. This is a simple request, my friends. Let's take this matter seriously because in here, TCP had proposed a methodology how slope analysis are to be done that I will be putting up in next video but before that please review this and give your expert opinions. Please. Thank you. God bless.